have you ever thought to yourself and said, I should buy a German car? Don't buy anything other than a Porsche. Other German cars are complete trash. And I'm gonna show you why. This Porsche, granted, had some mis uh, misfortune and lost an engine. We took it out, sent it away to a uh, renowned Porsche builder. He reprofurbished it, sent it back to us. I started putting the engine back together, getting you know all the little things on it and making sure everything was torqued right, making sure everything was ready to go back in the car. And now that the engine is ready, we're going to put it back in the car. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that uh, I've got to take out or that I left in while we were waiting for the engine to come back. So I left the transmission in. Um, it's actually mostly in, it's still loose. I left the, uh, the bolts loose for the axles. Um, I gotta take off these cross members uh, to get the transmission out and the little skid plate or splash guard that they have under here. Uh, the sway bar's gotta come out. This brace comes out, this one behind the sway bar. That whole thing comes out and then the transmission will drop. The nice thing is you actually don't have to take the axles out of the hubs. Uh, they have enough room back in there to move out of the way. So we're gonna do all that, get the transmission out. We're going to mate it up to the clutch, uh, get everything bolted in for that, make sure that that's happy. Uh, the slave cylinder and the shift forks or the, the shift cables and everything are in there. He got a shift uh, or a short, he, yeah. he got a short shifter for it. I'll show you that later. Uh, so we're gonna make sure that that's all hooked up properly. And then once we have it in, it's just going to be hooking up all the leftover hoses and random things. These hoses actually, uh, the bigger coolant hoses, where is it? There's this one and then there's one over here somewhere. There it is, down in there. Those ones, um, they were really stuck. So I had to cut them off and he got new hoses for us but we're gonna see, cause this is where one of them goes and that's another one, but we're gonna see what hoses he got. I'm kind of having a feeling that he got hoses for the front radiators, which are up here. Well, that's, that's AC condenser, but radiators behind it. That's that black thing. So let's get this thing back in the car. transmissions out I'll show you a little bit more of what I actually did to take it out um, so this is what I was talking about with the axles they just stay in they and they come far enough back to where you can get them out uh, they also made it so that the axles won't interfere with the transmission while you're lowering it they actually will just move out of the way uh, it was nice enough of them to put the slave so that it can actually be put on down here and then go up with the transmission because it's actually tucked up pretty high up there. So they actually thought about that. The motor mount here, or the transmission mount, I guess. It's got a bunch of pieces, but it comes apart really easily. And it's not like the pieces are hidden or bolts are in a place where you can't get to them. Uh, the, the drive shaft, the only real thing is these, these little uh, what are they, sleeves. Um, they do get affixed in, in the back of the transmission, which makes it a little hard to take off. But other than that, 
it's super easy and you can get to them really nice and yeah it's it's just one of those things where everything on this is easy to get to the only thing that's kind of annoying is the bolts back here they're technically underneath the uh, pad you can see them I can I can fix that later and make it so that I can get a bolt in there but I actually left them out because I knew that I was going to put the pad in the way but yeah this this bracket comes out makes it nice and easy and now we're just gonna put the transmission on the engine and everything will just slide back up making sure everything is at least clear up here and not going to be smashed. Shifters on, slave cylinders on. I'm gonna do the axles and then I'll put the hoses on before I put the braces back up. go over some of the stuff that I've gotten done so far. Uh, we do have most everything underneath here. This is like a little upholstery I'm going to have to route, but it's for the, uh, the hood latch. Uh, so I got the braces and whatnot under here, the sway bars in, uh, the little coolant hoses that we had to do down here. I got those done. Up here, we got the AC lines routed way back in here. You can see the end of my finger pointing to it. That's the uh, little, what are they, the quick disconnects for the engine harness. Um, these two, oh, actually, I gotta put that back together, this little clamp for it. But these two are power steering lines. Power on, belts on. Um, this power steering line does actually go underneath the uh, AC compressor. Uh, we do actually, we, we did get the wrong hoses, so I'm gonna have to order some of those here really soon, that way we can get them. Uh, only the, the two big ones for back here. On this side, way back in there, you can see that little gold piece. That's one of the fuel lines. And then this other gold piece here is the other fuel. I, I believe this one's feed and this one's return. Uh, we got the coolant little reservoir back here set back in. I just got to get the nut for it. Um, over here in this corner, the air pump goes and that's what this line goes to. I still got to hook up the coolant hose here, which is actually, I can just slide that on now. It's not that hard. Um, belts on. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting really close. This is, this is going pretty smooth. And uh, this is what I was talking about with uh, German cars. Uh, these are designed much better than any other German car. So good Porsche. off 
when we took it off, which there was already a bolt through this one, so I'm going to go grab the grinder, cut it smooth, wallow it out. Worst thing I have to do is drill it. Hopefully I can just get it out with like an air hammer, but this is holding us up and we can't hold it on with two studs. So the, the shop is busy this week. Um, Fred, Fred can't be here this week, so I asked Matt to come down. I don't know if you guys remember of seeing, he's the guy that owns that protege that uh, we painted a long time ago. Um, so he's gonna be helping getting the porch together while me and Reed are doing everything else at the shop. And then he also might hop on some other projects, so you might see him in a couple future videos. Porsche is pretty much together. Uh, we had to order some coolant hoses because the ones that he got us were actually for the front of the car, not the rear of the car. Uh, everything is in it except for those. Still doesn't have any coolant. So we're not going to start it just yet, but we do have another video coming out on this where I'm rebuilding, putting all new seals in the brake calipers for this, the Brembo calipers. He had them powder coated. So all new seals are going in that. We're going to put them on. The hoses will be here soon. We'll get them in and then we'll start this thing and we'll have our finished product of a new engine in a Porsche, new brakes and happy customers. 